It was a very disappointing, heartbreaking loss for Washington yesterday in the national championship game bump. And you know this, I know this, everyone knows this. That's not the news. There are a lot of opinions to come from this game, many of which we're going to be covering today. Don't worry, we're going to get to Seahawks starting at 1045. We've, we're, we're touching a lot of bases today, but let's stick with Washington. Um, draft stock is a conversation about Penix, but that's not what this is right now. This is about, and I, I hate to use this word, entitlement. And I have seen some wild takes on Twitter slash X.com um, about Michael Penix after this one, mostly people being mad yeah. and not recognizing him as maybe the best passer that Washington has ever had. Heisman Trophy runner-up, someone that took you back uh, to a place that you haven't been in 30 years. And I, I need, in my opinion, people to recognize that if you don't see that, you need a new hobby. Football isn't for you. No, that was um, that was a reaction of a disappointed fan base, I feel like. I hope that some of the people who were saying some of the wild things I saw on X last night about Michael Penning woke up this morning and were like, all right, that was just, I, I was reacting emotionally. Uh, now, now I've had time to think about this and, and really understand who Penning is and what he's done. He's passed for the most yards in a single season in UW history. Um, he has the second most touchdowns thrown in a season in, in uh, UW history. He has 64 total touchdowns going into this game last night. 64 total touchdowns, 8,859 yards. In his career, 25 and three, won a major um, a major bowl game and went to a title game. I'm saying, guys, like, did he perform his best last night? No, my man looked shook at times. Uh, that O line was collapsing on him. Um, he looked banged up. I guess at the end of the end of the game. He missed some throws. It wasn't a good performance, but you can't let one performance define who you are. He's not going to do that, and people shouldn't do that to Michael Penix. No. That's the part that frustrates me the most is because the same people who are singing his praise when things are going great or whatnot, you got to stand by him when my man gets beat up and does not perform at a high level. Me personally, I brought up a list of the – top 10 quarterbacks in UW history. And this this list is a little weird because they're they're taking into account some of what they've done in the NFL. But you got Brock Hewitt at number 10, uh, Joe, Billy Joe Hobart at number 9, Keith Price at 8, uh, Six Killer at 7, Locker at 6, Mark Brunel at 5, Penix at 4, Tui at 3, mm. Browning at 2, and Warren Moon at 1. Easily, my man is in the top three conversation of all time when it comes to UW quarterbacks. Now, if you eliminate what guys have done in the NFL, then I think it's a bit different. Warren Moon's a baller, but a lot of what he's he's known for is uh, in the NFL, going to the CFL, breaking records there, and then um, doing what he did in the NFL and being in two Hall of Fames. Like, hands down, if you're going to talk about greatest quarterbacks at UW and beyond, I think you have to lean on um, Warren Moon, but what Penix did in single seasons, when you're looking at performances, has never been done before. Browning's thrown for more touchdowns than him in a single season, um, but not yards. Uh, Browning did go to the semifinal, but not the final. He took it a step further. So, yeah, man, feel what you feel. I'm not telling you. I'm not a UW fan, so I can't sit there and tell you um, how to feel, but I just want to keep it in perspective. You saw something that you've never seen at the University of Washington Ever. before, and I just named 10 guys who are really good quarterbacks for that university. So I think I think you hold him accountable. He did not play his best game. It is a team sport. The O-line didn't protect the way they were supposed to. Receivers were dropping footballs, and he missed some throws for sure. Yes. But – Man, come on. Give, give the kids some slack. I mean, if you go one through ten of career passing yards, Michael Penix is number three. He is the only one on this list with less than four seasons, with half of that at two seasons. So he is number three <laughs> with half the amount of time of all the guys on this list. Some guys have five seasons. You look at single game passing yardage where you really start to isolate, well, how effective was he in the two seasons that he was here? And you have four of the top five performances ever by a UW quarterback are owned by Michael Penix Jr. Two of the best single passing seasons ever are owned by M Michael Penix Jr., the top two, two of the top three, obviously. Um, I Jake Browning's on that list for me, obviously a really prolific passer. Uh, Moon on that list, although I didn't like watch his career in the same way I did Browning or Michael Penix Jr. Uh, or Jake Locker, which is not in this conversation for me, even though love him. Um, but 
I, granted, this is a minority of people, I think. Like, I think the vast majority of people are like, oh, my God, you know, Michael Penix, Huskies, thanks for such a great season. Mm -hmm. But there's just, like, sometimes this thing that happens, and we do it as sports fans, and just because I'm not doing it doesn't mean I never have, uh, where – you're in the same boat and it's kind of like, um, you know, you're at a bar and I don't care if some stranger, uh, you know, is talking crazy. But if one of my friends or family says something, you kind of turn to them and you go, we're going to talk about this at home. <laughs> right. That's how I feel about UW fans. I don't care if Michigan fans are like, Penix is washed. I don't care. You don't, you aren't a Husky. Of course you think he's washed. Of course you think we're weak. Of mm -hmm. course you don't like this team. Huskies fans, you had a losing record not that long ago. You remember 0-12 again? Not that long ago. Decade plus ish ago how are you not looking at michael Penix jr and this huskies team going oh my god what a what a run yeah it's you're supposed to be disappointed right you made it to the big game um and, and you fell a little short and for the first time maybe not the first time but for you know, it didn't happen much this year but you felt like you were dominated in certain spots right uh, your quarterback, who's a Heisman Trophy runner-up, didn't perform the way that you wanted him to. Your offensive line, that was ranked the best offensive line in the game, did not perform the way that you wanted to. But you knew against this Michigan team, at least I, I thought, that you would have to have a complete game. You needed a run game to get going. You needed that. Mm -hmm. um, it, and what does a run game do exactly what it's supposed to do? It keeps the tacklers honest it keeps those linebackers eyes in the backfield they're not just able to to drop into a zone comfortably and not worry about the run game um so i look at Penix and i'm disappointed for him because uh 27 of 51 for 255 oh. one touchdown two interceptions ain't gonna get it done then i look at the run 20 attempts 46 yards a long of nine all right, you needed two or three of those to pop. Uh, Rome still had a decent game, five for 87. If he catches that first, I believe, fourth down a try, he's going to get over 100 yards, and maybe this game looks different. And also, people pointing to the referees. I get it. There were calls that, that should have been called that weren't and calls that were made that were, that were garbage. That happens in a football game. One or two bad calls is not going to determine a game. You know what determined the game? how they started those mm. first two or three series where they came out and looked dominant but you know what you should be proud of the way that that defense settled down and said okay yeah we got punched in the chin a couple times but we're back up and we're gonna give you an opportunity to try to get this thing going it's um it's a team sport i had to get off of x last night because people were people were pointing at individuals and i go okay all these individuals and all these situations that you point at all create a football game and that's what happens that's how you got to look at this thing i know i know you're disappointed you should be but uh Penix is one of the best if not the best thrower you guys have ever seen where the purple and gold um i hope if you uh if you were angry last night that you've calmed down and you could sit back and look at the body of work this young man has put together and appreciate him for what he is